In an increasingly interconnected world, studies show intercultural and interracial marriage is on the rise. But there is less research on the likelihood of divorce for these couples. One recent major study showed some interracial couples had higher rates of divorce. But contrary to the research, one New Jersey couple say they have embraced each other's cultures and are stronger for it. As director of the Multicultural Family Institute in Highland Park, New Jersey, Monica McGoldrick counsels intercultural couples facing difficulties in their marriage every day. McGoldrick says, based on her experience, cultural differences are a factor in many intermarriages ending in divorce. Generally speaking, what, from what I know, the more cultural difference there is between spouses, the less likely they are to make it as a couple, the more likely they are to divorce. That, that, which makes some sense that greater cultural distance is harder to bridge. But Charles Liu, whose family is from Taiwan and has been married to a Jewish woman for the last 20 years, disagrees. He says the makings of a good intercultural marriage are no different from any other union. The things that made our marriage smooth are probably many of the same things that made, make any marriage smooth. Communication, patience, tolerance, and uh, an overall acceptance of good things and knowing that things will be good. McGoldrick says cultural differences can affect a couple's day-to-day -day decision making. So the very idea of how do we negotiate life as a couple may look very different if one spouse is thinking, well, I want to do this, so we'll do this. And we'll just see the family on, my family on holidays and now and then. And the other one thinks that the socialization should be with the family. But Charles' wife, Amy Rabliu, who met him as a freshman in college, says cultural differences have never been a major obstacle for them. I think we've both embraced each other's culture, and I think that's part of why things have been so easy and smooth for us. McGoldrick says in addition to the cultural differences, strained relationships with the in-laws can also add to the problems in a mixed marriage. Uh, I think in-law triangles are some of the most difficult relationships. That is, you know, son, mother, and wife. So the wife with her mother-in-law, the son with his mother-in-law, you know, depending on the culture and the role that of gender in, in the particular culture, it can be very intense. Charles says that while there are significant cultural differences between his and Amy's parents, they have found a lot of common ground. The cultural differences was something that both our families were willing to work with and look past uh, because both our families fortunately are well educated and we both understand that it's more important to look at people one at a time rather than one culture at a time. In fact, Charles and Amy, who have three children together, have even agreed on which religion to raise their kids in, a major stumbling block for some cross-cultural couples. I am not converted to Judaism, for example, but I am very comfortable with our children being Jewish. Now, and, he's a, and he's a full participant in raising them that way. It's not, you know, do what you want. It's together. It's very much together. Right. Charles and Amy say embracing each other's cultures involves incorporating elements from both traditions in their daily life at home. Amy cooked Chinese New Year fast for Charles, their kids, and Charles extended family every year. And they also observe Passover in the Liu household. 